everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. Let's talk about six ways your period is screwing up your dental health. If you've ever noticed bleeding gums during your menstrual cycle, fortunately, having bleeding gums during your period is usually temporary. In addition, there are several other hormone-induced dental issues that can happen, so let's talk. The number one oral side effect that we see during menstruation, like we just said, is bleeding gums and swollen gums. It can even happen to people with absolutely perfectly clean teeth who floss twice a day. This gum tenderness or light bleeding typically goes right along with your period and then improves once your cycle is over. However, please remember that hormones are not to blame if your gums are bleeding and swollen all month long. If that's the case, then there's something else going on like gum disease or tartar buildup and you'll need to visit your dental office for an exam and a professional cleaning. Number two, toothaches and tooth sensitivity. So the thing is that some of us tend to eat different types of foods or crave certain drinks when we're on our period and all of that extra snacking could actually lead to more plaque along our gums, which irritates our teeth if there's any gum recession. Other times, significant gum swelling can make it feel like our teeth are hurting when it's actually actually are gum tissues. But if your teeth are particularly sensitive, make sure you're not using any whitening products or sucking on any lemons, nothing acidic. A sensitive toothpaste can also help as long as you're using it every day. Number three, dry mouth. Xerostomia, aka dry mouth, can be a side effect from a variety of things, such as medications, including birth control pills. It's common to see different symptoms when your body is transitioning between your weeks of being on and off the pill for your period. Be sure to drink lots of water and always use an alcohol-free mouthwash because alcohol will only dry out your mouth more. Number four, canker sores. You might not have known this, but it's completely normal for a lot of women to get canker sores during their period. Usually it's right before or right at the beginning of their menstrual cycle rather than afterward. Canker sores can also be triggered by salty or acidic foods, so if your diet does change during your period, food choices may be to blame as well. Number five, abnormal taste. Does it seem like you have a funny taste in your mouth or that your taste buds work differently when you're on your period? The reason is, is because if your gums bleed, it can make it seem like you have more of a mental metallic taste coming from your mouth. And since your period may make your gums more likely to bleed, it's probably to blame. Some women also tend to be a little anemic during their period, which can make their gums bleed even more heavily, which can add even more to the metallic taste. And number six, mouth sloughing. If you're prone to getting canker sores, you might also be more at risk to see a little skin peeling or sloughing around your mouth whenever you're about to start your period, especially since estrogen levels drop, which can make your skin seem a little more dull than normal. But any heavy duty sloughing of your oral tissues is probably more from an active ingredient in your toothpaste. And I do have a whole video all about mouth sloughing. If you'd like to learn more about that, I'll of course link that in the bottom or below. But in all, although it's easy to blame our bleeding gums on our period, truth be told, severe gingivitis, severe swollen and bleeding gums from your period is extremely rare. If your gums are bleeding a lot, then it's more likely that the inflammation was already a problem before you started your period. So to prevent this, what you need to do is gently brush along your gums every time you brush your teeth and do this for a minimum of two minutes twice each day. Invest in an electric toothbrush if you can. Power toothbrushes do the work for you and lots of them have timers, so if you aren't sure that you're brushing for the full two minutes, they are super helpful. Floss around in between every tooth every day. Schedule regular professional dental cleanings at least twice a year and have the right tools to clean hard to reach areas. Some people need to use water flossers or proxy brushes or floss threaders depending on your individual mouth. So talk with your dental hygienist and ask which home care tools would be best for you. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notifications if you did. And if you want more Teeth Talk, you could visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com or hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.